Hello everyone, just Rachel here from Baking Cut. I'm just going to make some popcorn tonight. Uh, we're going to chill out and watch some Netflix. So, the order of the day is popcorn. So for that, you need some oil. I've got three tablespoons there, or about a quarter of a cup. And a cup of whole popcorn. Um, can do microwave, uh, popcorn in the microwave, there's lots of ways for that, but I actually like doing mine on the stove in a pot. So, we'll jump to it. I'm missing a display here in my um, induction hob, so I know what it means, so don't worry about that. But you just need to bring it up so you won't boil your, your oil, but it will be hot, so... You need it hot enough just to pop your popcorn. So we've already just tipped our oil in. We're just going to bring it up to temp. And you'll know when it's up to temp because you'll be able to drop a popcorn in it and it'll pop. Mine's just coming up. I'll just turn it up a little bit higher. Like I said, it's too easy to have it too hot. I'm starting to get that look about it. So well, that's all you have to do to see if it's hot enough. And mine's just definitely not hot enough. As you can see, it's taking a little bit to split. Might just bring up my temperature a bit more. Sometimes my display works, sometimes it doesn't. So when I go right up, that's 2700 in power. As you can see, it's just starting to smoke now. So I'm going to set it to about 2000 in power. Probably even 1800. The temperature is at 100 degrees. So I'll just chuck another one in and see how we go. Ooh, there we go. So it's hot, you can see that, it's just starting to smoke. Popcorn on. Put your lid on and give it a shake. If you think it's too hot, if in doubt, always just bring your temperature down. And just keep giving it a shake. And as you can see, I probably had a smidge hot, but it's just starting to pop now. Just hear it popping. Okay. So it's actually just coming up there nicely. And the reason you just shake it like that is just so all the popcorn or the kernels are always just covered in oil. Just bring mine up a little bit of temperature more because I do have a lot on there. So if I take that off, is it going to pop out at the. Just can see. Whoop! It's going everywhere. It's definitely popping. So it is advisable that you do keep the lid on your pot when you're popping it. Hmm. Tastes pretty good too. So I just like butter on mine. I just melt some butter. Put a bit of salt on and that's all we actually have on ours you can put curry on them um some cumin seeds i don't know just whatever takes your fancy and flavorings like spices you can put some garlic powder on maybe a lot of people make sweet popcorn which we don't like so we actually just like it very plain as you can see it's just coming away Keep shaking it because you can hear that loose stuff on the bottom. There's still a bit of loose stuff there. Mm. 
and this makes a lot of popcorn for very little money. It's a cheap, efficient way of getting a lovely snack for when you're watching the movies. And of course, if you're watching your way to whatever you're doing and you want to have no butter, you can just eat it plain with a little bit of salt like this. But we'll put some butter on it because I'm not watching my weight. I think it's pretty good. There's still some kernels that are unpopped, but you just keep going until they pop. Okay, it's pretty much all done. You can see it's all the odd one's still popping, so I'll turn it off. Here we go. Hot popcorn. Really simple, really easy. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and do feel free to check out my other videos. I'll put the ingredients in there. So one cup of popcorn, three tablespoons of oil. So that's all and thanks for watching. Bye.